His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebia Palace today senior state officials, businessmen and journalists. His Royal Highness highlighted His Majesty the King's remarkable efforts exerted in order to achieve progress and prosperity of the kingdom and its people and expressed confidence that the upcoming phase would witness huge developments in all sectors and achieve aims and aspirations of Bahraini people. He called on the importance of national unity in order to combat terrorism in all its forms, adding that Bahrain society's cohesion and unity is the main protective shield against all those who try to destabilize the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of enhancing GCC cooperation in the security, economic and social fields in order to overcome all threats to the region that the region may encounter and hailed the remarkable role of the Bahraini press and media personnel regarding combating terrorism and extremism. He underlined the importance of security and stability as key pillars of the progress and prosperity of every nation. His Royal Highness then discussed a number of regional and international developments and affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to enhancing cooperation with friendly countries and its firm stance regarding combating all threats that aim to target the international security and stability. He also lauded Saudi Arabia's huge efforts in supporting Arab and Islamic causes. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, BAA, and President of the West Asian Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Samad bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the winning of the West Asian Juniors Athletics Championships held at Khalifa Sports City. He also congratulated the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the achievement, adding that the success was thanks to the continuous support of the leadership and the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, lauded His Highness constant follow-up in boosting the overall level of the championship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid noted that this achievement would motivate the BAA to exert more efforts and implement further plans, programs and strategies to accomplish more on various levels and lauded the successful organization of the event, affirming Bahrain's keenness to achieve more progress in this sport. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, the BAA, and founder and leader of the KHK MMA organization, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the latest in a series of achievements of KHK MMA team. The team's victory was scored by professional MMA fighter Khabib Nur Muhammadov, the Eagle, in the main fight against U.S. fighter Hotcha in the second round at Arena Amalia in Florida State, USA. His Highness also congratulated the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the achievement. He praised the leadership's constant support to the sports movement, the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his constant follow-up in the boosting of the overall level of the sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was present at the championship and encouraging fighter Khabib Nur Muhammadov and providing him with moral support in putting all of his efforts and capabilities into the competition. 
His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended Khabib's skills and persistent efforts, wishing him further success in his career. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, expressed condolences to the Ministry of Interior and the bereaved family of the policeman who fell in the line of duty in a terrorist attack in the village of Karbabad yesterday and wished, and wished the wounded policeman a quick recovery. Al Mullah reiterated the Parliament's unwavering support to the measures taken by the Ministry to maintain security and stability and protect lives and properties. He also urged commitment to national unity to protect the nation from terrorism, extremism and violence and enforcement of the law against anyone who perpetrates acts of terrorism that target Bahrain and its people. He said that Bahrain would continue the march, defeat the scourge of terror protect the reform project and democratic process under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He stressed the solidarity of the Muslim states with Bahrain in the 13th Islamic Summit, warning against blatant foreign interference and acts of terror which are still targeting the nation. The Shura Council issued a statement today strongly condemning the cowardly terrorist act which targeted an on-duty public security patrol in Karbabad village yesterday, claiming the life of one policeman and injuring two others, and was instigated by destructive extremist ideology to Bahrain's peaceful community. The Council condemned all sorts of Mis manifestations of violence and terrorism that targeted the country's stability and the lives of civilians and residents, saying this terrorist attack would only strengthen Bahraini people's cohesion and solidarity to confront terrorism and extremism in harmony with the wise vision of the leadership which calls on fighting terrorism and extremism in all its forms and manifestations to protect the homeland and the lives and safety of citizens. The Council expressed sincere condolences to the family of the fallen policeman, offering wishes for a quick healing to those injured and affirming the Council's firm stance in support of all measures and actions that will enforce the law against perpetrators of this criminal act, expressing the Council's trust in the security agencies in confronting all that threatens the Kingdom's security and stability. Gulf Cooperation Council GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani strongly condemned the terrorist attack which targeted a security patrol in a Bahraini village, leaving one on duty policeman dead and two others severely wounded. Dr. Al Zayani describes the cowardly terrorist attack as a horrific crime which contravenes all ethical and human values, stressing full confidence in the ability of the security agencies to catch the perpetrators and bring them to justice. He affirmed GCC country's supportive stance to the Kingdom in all its efforts aimed at combating terrorist organisations and rooting out their criminal activities that threaten the Kingdom's security and stability and terrorises innocent people. The GCC Secretary General extended heartfelt condolences to the bereaved family, the government and the people of Bahrain, wishing the wounded a quick recovery. Arab League Secretary General Nabil Al Arabi condemned the terrorist attack that targeted a security patrol in the Bahraini village of Karbabad yesterday, leaving one on duty policeman dead and two others severely wounded. He affirmed the Arab League's supportive stance to Bahrain in all its efforts exerted in order to combat terrorist groups that aim to target the kingdom's security and stability. He also expressed condolences to the bereaved family, the government, and the people of Bahrain, wishing the wounded a quick recovery. Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired today the weekly meeting, he stressed the importance of Parliament visits in order to enhance communication and cooperation and discuss topics of common interest. The Council approved a report by the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee regarding the civil service and another request by the Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee regarding the right of obtaining information. The Council then approved a number of draft laws studied by the Council's committees. Minister of State for Follow-up Affairs Mohammed bin Ibrahim al Mutawa chaired the first meeting of the Executive Committee for the Programme of Action to promote governance in government institutions. The Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for the restructuring of the committee and lauded the government's keenness to develop the public sector in order to enhance the Kingdom's comprehensive development march on all levels. 
He affirmed the importance of adopting initiatives that aim to preserve the sustainability of resources so as to develop the level of services provided to citizens. Good evening and welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,123.27 points, falling 0.05 points below previous closing. The services sector lost traction during trading that registered the fall, but the commercial bank sector witnessed high investor trading to represent 56% of share value traded. In total today, there were 17 transactions involving 438,195 shares worth 91,385 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 